Hey everyone, it is Greg with Spotted Tongue Woodworking and today I want to talk about multi-tools. I think it's important discussion to talk about tools that I use, why I use them, and maybe why I don't use certain tools. Uh, I like to call, you know, there's three of these, so we'll call this good, better, best, or bad, okay, good, you know, whatever you want to do. We have green, we have yellow, we have red. Those are traditionally the three colors you're going to hear about when people talk about their tools. Either they're going to be a Ryobi person, they're going to be a Dewalt person, or they're going to be a Milwaukee person. And I think there are very important differences in the quality and performance of each of these tools that are worth noting and see if they're actually worth the budget that they are at for the pricing. Uh, the first tool we're going to look at is this Ryobi multi-tool. And if you are a DIY homeowner, whatever, most likely this is probably what you have sitting in your garage if you even have a multi-tool. Multi-tools are really interesting. I, you know, they've only become really big in the past few years. I remember when I first started working summers, I had never seen a multi-tool before. But then when I came back from college, started working again, and all of a sudden I started seeing multi-tools everywhere. People use it for cut, cutting drywall, cutting conduit, cutting whatever. Multi-tool is just super handy to have. And so we'll talk about this Ryobi one. And one of the features, you know, has a light. That's great. It's very loud, a lot of vibration. It does have a lock, which is good because, you know, a lot of times multi-tool, you want to have that lock. So it's just going. Um, it also does have ad adjustable speed. It goes from zero off through six. And Probably the biggest downside with the multi-tool, and this is what you're gonna find on the budget models, is that you need a tool to release the multi to, to release the blade. So you know, having you know just one more thing that you gotta keep track of is you have to have this tool in order to loosen. I can't get it because it's been used a lot. So blades on there, that's on, that's tight. This is on there with that so we don't lose it. And kind of we'll just turn it on, lock it, and let it run, and you can see and hear how it goes. So you can see, you can see, you can hear how loud it is. You can see the vibration of the tool. Um, it's not very quiet, a lot of vibration, and you know, in my opinion, you know, I think, you know, being in a wood shop slash cabinet shop, you know, working in, you know, more residential setting, noise is a big issue. You don't want to be loud. Even the commercial setting is, depending on the commercial setting, you don't want a lot of noise. So this is definitely not going to be very friendly if you're trying to be quiet and unobtrusive, unobtrusive. And then you can see, even just see sitting there how this was moving on this cast iron table saw is that it has a lot of vibration. And what I found is that a lot of vibration also means it's gonna be less precise. It's gonna be harder to hold on a line as it's vibrating in your hand. So yes, it cuts. Yes, it works. Yes, it's very inexpensive, relatively cheap. You can get it anywhere and it works with those Ryobi batteries which work with every single Ryobi tool which is a really cool feature that not a lot of brands have. But it's not gonna be what I'm gonna use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it's gonna hurt my ears, it's gonna hurt my hands, and I'm not gonna be happy with the quality of the work. They say a poor workman blames his tools, but poor tools don't help any work, don't help workmanship. So let's move on to the next one. Next up, you know, we went from green, we're gonna go to yellow, and the reality is I've had this yellow one for most of my construction, woodworking, cabinet, re, cabinetry career. You know, for, you know, not, it's not very long. It's been a couple years. And really, I've loved this tool. I love the ergonomics of this tool. I love the handle. I love the trigger. I love, you know, it's a little, it's very loud. It's a very distinct noise, but not a lot of vibration. Very, very user-friendly in terms of that. A very nice, bright light. And one of probably my favorite feature is this toolless, uh, you know, blades in, blades out, just a little simple spring lever. There's not a lot of brands that have, I think, that have as intuitive a blade switch as, as that. So 
This does, the only thing this doesn't have is it doesn't have a dial for adjustable speed. It's just how hard you pull the trigger. So, you know, it, it's intuitive in that way where you don't pull the trigger a lot. You know, you pull the trigger a lot, it increases the intensity and the power and the speed. But what I don't like is, you know, with the battery packs, any battery pack that's going to work last any amount of time is this is not a very light, it's not very lightweight. This is more of an industrial one, but it's also still very, very loud. And it still does have, even though it is, because it is heavy, it doesn't have as much vibration on the table, but it still has a little bit of vibration in your hand. And because of the ergonomics is you almost, you have to hold it back here. You know, you can't, it's not as ergonomic to hold it close to the handle for that fine control. And finally, we come to what many people consider to be the end-all, be-all of brands, or at least if you're an electrician, you believe that. But, you know, as I watch, you know, more and more in the carpentry industry, you see more and more of this red, more and more Milwaukee. And there's a reason for that, because these tools work. These tools work. They work well. They're not cheap, but they work well, and they're going to give you the results that you're looking for. I just picked this up recently and I'm very, very, very impressed. It is unbelievably quiet compared to any other multi-tool I've used. The vibration is almost non-existent. The ergonomics of it, while the handle does not have quite the same, the, quite the same ergonomics as the handle of the Dewalt, this one you can hold comfortably, you know, the same way all the way around any angle. And the reason why I picked the M12 over the M18 is, well, I didn't, I've used the M18. I didn't like the M18. I think the M18 has a lot of the same faults that the Dewalt one has in terms that it is louder. It is, it does have a little bit of vibration to it, but you can't, it does have better balance because the way the battery sits, but you can't set it down. You know, I like having a tool that I can set down on the battery. I don't have to lay it on its side, whatever. I can just kind of set it down, just stand there, grab it, pick it up. One thing, you know, I love, you know, again, multi-tool standard with cordless tools is you have a light. It's very wonderful for dark places. It has a 12-step adjustable speed, which is fantastic. The only thing that I'm not super crazy about is the tool adjustment. You see the Dewalt one had the spring adjustment, this does have a tool list adjustment, but it's a little bit slower, not quite, I would say not quite as intuitive as you would think some brands such as Milwaukee would be able to do. But yeah, there you have it. That's the good, my good, better, best, lineup for what I see for multi-tools. Uh, I haven't used the Makita multi-tool. I've been around the rigid one. I would classify rigid as just orange Ryobi. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that comment. Uh, the fine multi-tool, haven't tried it. Festool multi-tool, haven't tried it because one, they cost a lot. And two, I don't think you can get much better than this little M12 multi-tool. It's powerful, it's quiet, low vibration, and it works. They all work, but this works well. And there's not very many tools that you can say it works well and it does the job right. So that's just my few cents on multi-tools, on why you know, I hate on Ryobi, I don't use Ryobi, I don't like Ryobi mainly because I don't get the results that I want from Ryobi tools. I'm always unhappy. This Dewalt, I've been very happy with D this Dewalt tool, but I'm happier with this Milwaukee M12 Fuel multi-tool. I don't think it gets much better than this. So, Greg, Spotify Woodworking, have a great day.